Hello and welcome to ITC TechShare. I'm Tom Grissom. In this video edition, I will show you how to install the Audacity sound editing program on a new Windows 7 computer. To begin, let's go down and open up an Internet Explorer browser station and in the search box type the word Audacity. Click the search button and it looks like the first search result is Audacity, free audio editor and recorder, and the web address is audacity.sourceforge.net. Click that link and it takes you to the Audacity SourceForge website. You will notice that it is a free cross-platform sound editor. It works on Mac, Windows, and Linux computers. And I need to figure out what version I want. Now, I have two main choices here for the Windows side. I have the stable version, which is 1.2.6 for 98ME2000 XP and Vista computers. However, this is a Windows 7 computer, so they do have an update, uh, and they do provide provisional support. So if you click this link, it will tell you more if you're interested. I will download version 1.3.11. It takes me to the download page. And if I scroll down, what I'm looking for is the download file for the installer, and here it is. You'll notice it's an executable file, and it's 10.9 megabytes in size. So when I click that link, it will go out and ask me if I want to run or save this file. I always prefer to save files, so let me go down to my hard drive here, drive C, and I also prefer to make a folder called Downloads for the software that I am downloading. And change to that and you'll see that I'm in the C drive in the downloads folder and here's the file name for version 1.3.11 just click save and it will take a minute or two to download but here it is it's downloaded completely and now then I may click the run button to begin the installation process it's just giving me a message here in Windows 7 it says it cannot the publisher could not be verified that's okay I will go ahead and click run and I get an access control. Do I want to install this program? Yes, I do. And here comes the wizard. What language would I like to install? English is fine. And I'm just going to step, step through the setup wizard here, clicking the next button. It gives me information about the license. It, in, it gives me the default path for program files and then Audacity 1.3 beta. If I click next, it asks me to create a desktop icon. I can uncheck that if I don't want that choice. I will accept that and say next and now then simply click the install button and this is real time here and literally in about 10-15 seconds it's finished installing click the next button and there you see the checkbox that whenever I click finish the launch audacity button is highlighted so when I press finish audacity will launch let me go ahead and do that now now then, it looks like nothing happened, but actually if I close this browser window behind, you will find the Welcome to Audacity message for the first time that I've run this, so I'll just click OK. And here is the new beta version of Audacity installed on Windows 7. In part two of this series, I'll show you how to install the LAME, L-A-M-E, MP3 encoder if you would like to be able to save your sound files in the MP3 format. 